John has said, he's so strong that he can get away with uh, things that uh, other horses wouldn't. John, how do you think it's going? Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen the old horse look so happy in a race for a long time until he just made that mistake. He was going along with his ears, loving it. I mean, he loves this soft ground. Um, they're all going well at the moment. Coombs Ditch hasn't settled a bit so far. Um, they've gone no gallop at all. They must be going to quicken up here now. Whether it's um, they've quickened up early enough now to take the speed off these two horses at the back, I don't know. They've Coombs Ditch, as you say, has been pulling very hard, hasn't he? Yeah, you they've, gone, him now. they've gone no gallop. It's obviously a lot softer than it looks. Yes. Coombs Ditch jumping very big, but I would think that Colin will let him uh, get a little bit closer now. He's still pulling hard at this stage. You wouldn't like to name the winner, would you? Wouldn't like to name the winner, no. <laughs> I'd like to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> there are really none of them out of it. I, no. I, I wouldn't myself give Earl's Brig too much chance because I don't uh, think he's got much acceleration. But uh, Wayward Lad moved up there to join Burry Hill Lad for the first time. Uh, and he's go still going well, and so's Earl's Brig, now that I've said that. So, all five are still in it with a chance. And they've got seven more to jump. Murray Hill Land, starting price five to four on Coombs, it's three to one. Earl's Brick seven to one and twelve to one bar the three. This is the seventh from home, a plain fence. Earl's Brick on the right, just a length or so off Murray Hill Land, who's just beginning to quicken the pace a bit, Phil Tuck, comes down towards the fourteenth. Six from home, this is the last ditch they have to jump. Murray Hill Land, two from the right, the horse with the breast girth comes to it. Oh! Dear, oh dear, he got away with it. That was a slight mistake, wayward lad. Half free getting closer. And he's got uh, speed over two and a half. Coombs Ditch is not out with it, not out of it, although just back in fifth place as they come down to the fifth from home. And it's Burry Hill Lad from Earl's Brig and wayward lad. And now Coombs Ditch and half free and Burry Hill Lad still in the lead. Four out this, Burry Hill Lad, the better jump by Earl's Brig. Wayward Lad gets a good run through on the inside, and Graham Bradley at last commits, and the pace quickens now. It's Wayward Lad, Burry Hill Lad matching strides with him. Then comes Earl's Brig, who gets the reminder, but look at Coombs Ditch. Colin Brown sitting confidently there, and uh, Ben DeHaan back in fifth place. They've got three more fences to jump in this, the King George VI chase. And as they level up for home, Wayward Lad, Burry Hill Lad, Coombs Ditch, Earl's Brig gets the reminder and then half free, so they're coming down towards the third last, Burry Hill Lad, Wayward Lad, and look at Coombs Ditch in behind them. Three out, this a good jump from Burry Hill Lad, but Coombs Ditch getting closer on the inside, Earls Briggs staying on, Wayward Lad with him, coming down to the second last, and the roar goes up for Burry Hill Lad, as Wayward Lad matches strides with him, and gets the better jump Graham Bradley on Wayward Lad, Wayward Lad from Burry Hill Lad, and now Coombs Ditch next to the rails, it's Wayward Lad going for a historic third win in this race, the leader as he comes down to the last, Wayward Lad, but Coombs Ditch now the challenger. Wayward Lad and Coombs Ditch in the air together, touchdown together. Who shows a better turn of foot? Wayward Lad, what a grand old campaigner. Coombs Ditch looks like he's going to be second again, but he's fighting back. We're coming up towards the line. Wayward Lad and Coombs Ditch. Wayward Lad and Coombs Ditch. Wayward Lad wins it just from Coombs Ditch in a photo. Back to third.